please, for the love of all that is holy, focus on my face. <laughs> you okay, Andrew? It's a little dramatic. Today's video is going to be so epic because not only are we going to be making 30, that's right, 30 freezer meals in just a couple hours. We're gonna do it on a budget as fast as possible and we will be able to take some of these extras because listen, my family does not need 30 freezer meals, but there are some families that do and this is the perfect opportunity to share with those in need, share with your neighbors. I can think of five families in my neighborhood that are either recently divorced, recently had a baby, working full time, it's just too crazy, they don't like cooking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera and they would love some freezer meals and we are going to give that to them. Here's my list of freezer meals that I will be making today. Here are all of my recipes that I will be using today and this entire packet, all of the information, all of the goods that you need to also do the same thing, you can get from eating together. They are awesome enough to partner with me on today's video and they're gonna give you an amazing deal. It's only gonna cost you 15 doll hairs if you use the link down below because they wanna give you guys, my viewers, this amazing deal, 30 freezer meals for $150 or less. I made less. And we're gonna make it really, really easy. So step one is going to be to run to my Walmart pickup because ain't nobody got time to go grocery shopping anymore. I did put the order in previously, so let's go back to past Christine to check out how that went. Hey, future Christine, what's going on? Yeah, hey, past Christine, uh, you wanna tell the people how much you spent on all of these freezer meals today. I would be happy to share with you how much I spent on this grocery haul. Now, because I already had like some chicken in my freezer, some items in my pantry, I didn't need to get everything on the list. So when I put in my Walmart grocery pickup order, which is I think the best way to do freezer meals, it came to $84 before tax, which I think is such an amazing deal for an entire month's worth of dinners for a family. Pass Christine, that is amazing. You enjoy that beverage. Thank you so much, I will. Back to you. Hop in the car, go get those groceries. They're not gonna pick up themselves. Here it is, everything that I am going to be using. You can get a little bit ahead by chopping up all of your onions and your bell peppers and cooking some of your meat, which is definitely what I'm gonna do tonight before I actually get started tomorrow. It just makes day two go that much quicker. So I did take a shortcut by buying the chopped green peppers instead of chopping my own. You could also do that for the onions. I just got the whole onions and I'm gonna chop them myself. I mean, it doesn't look like much here, but it's gonna make a lot, trust me. It is the day of cooking and I am going to start by browning some of my meat. Now, I did a bunch of my prep work yesterday. In fact, let's go back and take a look at that right now. On day of, there's two different ways you could do this. There's the recipes here, or what I really like is they have like order of operations assembly instructions to be as efficient as possible. And I'm a big fan of being efficient. Today I am featuring Eating Together's one month freezer meal pack. It is 30 freezer meals. This is a great way to only spend a couple of hours prepping freezer meals and then you are set for the entire month. You do not have to do what I'm doing and give them away totally keep them for your family if you don't wanna worry about dinner every night. Eating Together is gonna to hook you up with an amazing deal. Go to the first link down in the doobly-doo, 15 bucks for this freezer meal pack. You are going to love it. Now let's get back to cooking. I have a 12 inch skillet here, a 14 inch skillet here, and we're gonna brown our ground turkey. Actually, I think I have ground chicken breast and ground beef over here with some of our pre-prepped onions. Let's throw those in the pan. get out all the paper. Okay, I have some bell peppers and onions in the beef. Just onion in the ground turkey or ground chicken. 
or I guess you could use beef if you wanted to. You don't have to use turkey. Kind of do whatever you want. It's a lot of prepped onions. And go at it with your handy dandy meat masher. While all of my meats are cooking, check out my shirt. It's new. I may be wrong, but I doubt it. We're gonna mix up some other th other stuff in this bowl and I have got to get a better angle so you can actually see the bowl. So in this bowl, I have salsa, a whole bunch of it, because I'm doing multiple meals here. Taco seasoning going into that. Drained and rinsed black beans. An Italian-like salad dressing. I have this Greek vinaigrette in my pantry, so I'm just gonna use this. Maybe like that much. I'll give this a little bit of a stir and my turkey is going to go in here as soon as it's done. It's not done yet, so I'm going to turn the camera off and probably have a cooking snack. Back to the ground beef, I added in ketchup, mustard, garlic powder, and some brown sugar. I'm gonna simmer this together until it comes together, and then this meal is also right about done. Definitely fling some beef on your counter. My Sloppy Joe freezer meals are ready to go. You can stick these hamburger buns with the meat in your freezer together so they don't get lost, but I would label your chips to make sure that, you know, if the kids don't come eat them and they actually stick with the dinner. And if you are gonna give these away to a buddy, you can just put like the chips and the hamburger buns, this baggie in like a, a grocery sack and take it over to them. So the chips I picked were the barbecue and cheddar and sour cream. Tell me what your favorite flavor of chips are. I wish I could have got the all dressed chips like they have in Canada, those are super good. But anyway, this meal is now done as well. While my Sloppy Joes are cooling off a little bit in the fridge, I have the rest of my ground beef, some more onion, garlic, and Italian seasoning cooking up right here. And as soon as my water boils over here, I'm gonna cook up my garden rotini for a few more freezer meals. Why are we always waiting for water to boil? Come on. That looks pretty tasty though, doesn't it? This is my waiting for the pasta to cook snack. Toast with peanut butter and honey. Don't knock it, it's delicious. is mixed together it's time to top with your favorite pizza toppings i'm going to use some pepperoni here and for some reason this pepperoni is like super sticking to itself this would also be a great chore to have your kids do <laughs> i bet they would like to place all of the pepperonis all over you know what i mean the great news about finishing up these two dishes is that we are done dirtying up pots and pans the pots and pans the cooking the meat the pasta Completely done. So I'm gonna take a minute as, as I wait for these to cool before I top them with cheese to clean up my pots and pans and bowls, get those out of the way because we are not gonna need those anymore, which is such a relief. There's actually not a ton of like cooking prep work, I think, in this freezer meal pack, which is awesome because I would like, I would just like things to come together as quickly as possible. Ta da! point out the utter confidence I have today in wearing a light colored shirt when I'm working with so many red tomato products, okay? That could also be stupidity, I'm not sure yet. And check it, it is the battle of the pitcher versus the baggy holder thingy. I have two gallon sized bags here and I, I love these recipes because you just throw everything in. You don't have to cook anything, I think it's awesome. So I have my sausage not cooked, just throwing the sausage in raw. Throw caution to the wind. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this because I'm gonna touch raw meat. This is a this is a mild because I am planning on giving some of these away. If I was making this for my family, I would use the spicy one because I I much prefer spicy Italian sausage to the sweet one. But that is of course your personal preference. So just kind of break that apart. Oh! <laughs> All right, that's okay. It's a little wobbly. By the way, I love sausage. Like, I love it. Pro about the pitcher is that it doesn't tip over very easily. So that's, I mean, so there's that. Like a hoop. I have some canned tomatoes. I have some tomato sauce, bell peppers, the prepped onions, some Italian seasoning. So they're it's basically, they're just all going in the back. things you can do. You can add your dried pasta into your bag. Totally okay. Or you can set it to the side and cook it fresh day of, which is what I'm going to do. So just make sure you mark on here, freezer meal pasta. So someone else just doesn't like randomly take it. Of course, do your best to get all of the air out of these. If you can freeze them flat, which is my favorite way to do it, you can stack them on top of each other. They don't take up very much room. You can't even see that. But like, if you freeze it flat, like that. And that's another one marked off my list right there. Bloop, bloop. We are doing great. I think I have too much air in this one. So if you're trying to figure out how to freeze these flat, I'll show you. Okay, this is my favorite way to do it. For each two bags, I kind of stagger them like this on a cookie sheet and then I put the whole cookie sheet in my uh, chest freezer downstairs. Freeze is super nice. There's the pasta for day of. Of course, serve a salad on the side, something green for that health and fitness. Totally up to you. Making up some chicken teriyaki and rice. This is so fast. I started with three to four chicken breasts in each one of these bags and I'm gonna add my teriyaki sauce. If you have a brand that you think is super good, go ahead and let me know. I feel like I tried one and it was like, meh, you know what I mean? Little bit of water. Now I love the flavor of fresh garlic, but I'm telling you, you cannot beat the convenience of these little squeezy tubes and some brown sugar. And can you believe it? That is all that goes into these and we are done with the chicken. I mean, how long did that take? 30 seconds? When it comes to serving these, you are gonna serve it with rice. So you can do like frozen rice. My store's frozen rice was super expensive. So I was like, I'll just cook the rice fresh that day. It makes way more sense to do that. And it's a lot more budget friendly. But if you wanna do like the 90 second rice or instant rice, you know, that's totally your call. Two more dinners done, just like that. For the barbecue chicken nachos, I will divvy up my pre-cooked shredded chicken. You could do a rotisserie chicken too, but I find deboning it is almost like more work than just cooking the chicken in your Instant Pot. I'm trying to be even here, but if you've seen any of my other freezer meals, you know how good I am at <laughs> figuring that out. I mean, that looks close-ish. And to that goes your favorite BBQ sauce. You could do the sugar-free if you want. I actually, I tried that like, is it G Hughes or whatever? I didn't like it that much. I think what's so good about barbecue sauce is that it's sweet and has sugar in it. But there we go, just throw some BBQ in there. Here's a cooking tip for you if you can't get your food to taste very good. Just put barbecue sauce on it. I'm telling you, you put barbecue sauce on anything and it, it's gonna make your food delicious. Once again, let's get all of that air out. And you can stir that up if you want. You don't have to, totally up to you. And for cooking day of on that one, just make sure you have some tortilla chips that your kids are not sneaking out of the pantry and some shredded cheddar cheese and you're good to go. We have open-faced meatball subs next. So in my gallon size bag, I'm gonna put all my components and kind of make a little bit of a packet. Pre-cooked, already done meatballs, my measured out mozzarella cheese, and my measured out 
sauce that I'm gonna have with that. The only thing you need to make sure you also have with this is for each packet, have a frozen loaf of garlic bread. These are your little meatball sub packets. Meatball sauce, cheese with this together, and that's three more meals, because I have enough for three here. Checked off our list. packets of this tortilla pizza. Let me give you a better angle here. So in my gallon Ziploc bag, I have my favorite tortillas, whichever ones you like, my sauce, and my cheese. They can go into the freezer just like this. If you want bigger tortillas, that is, you know, use the big ones, use the small ones, use whatever ones you like. There you go, four more freezer meals. Lickety split. In these three freezer bags, it's time for the bean and rice burrito bowl. Wow, that's a big thing. So I'm gonna divvy up between these three bags my next few ingredients. Some peppers. I'm gonna try and make them equal, but you know, I don't know how that's gonna go. Canned black beans. Those onions I prepped, I am telling you, this is the best way to prep onions. Put a big mask on your face or something, swim goggles, get through all of the onions, and then put them in a Tupperware or freeze them or something. This is, this is the best. I love not having to cut up onions every single time I'm making a recipe. It's brilliant. The diced tomatoes with green chilies. Mm. Makes me a little nervous. So hopefully that's about equal. <laughs> Not really measuring most of this. <laughs> it's rice and beans, how hard is it? I already mix in some veggie broth and I have this big container. I will do the whole thing, hopefully as even as possible. 32 divided by three is a little more than nine, right Andrew? 10.6. That sounds about right. Alexa, what's 32 divided by three? 32 divided by three is approximately 10.6667. Did I not say 10.6? One cup is eight, so let's just do eight in each and then and then a little bit. Chili powder, ditto on the cumin. It could be a teaspoon, it could be a tablespoon. Who's to say, really? It's so easy, I can't even wrap my brain around it. And then of course, on day of, you're gonna want some rice, brown rice, jasmine rice, short grain, white rice, whatever rice you like. I think I like this better than this. I really do. This is just so wobbly. I don't, am I dumb? But, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hey, I think that you're in over your head. Last but definitely not least are mini chicken pot pies. So in each of these, I have the rest of my shredded cooked chicken that I had prepped yesterday. And I'm gonna add some mixed veggies to each of these bags. I'm just gonna use whatever you want. I have this like stir fry one, so. gonna divvy the, these half and half and half like this. I love chicken pot pie, so I'm so excited that I have a freezer meal option to try out on my family, see if they like it, since it's definitely something I make a lot. And then into each bag, one can of cream of chicken soup. This is all that goes into here, like <laughs> three ingredients. Here's your mixture, and you just kinda, you know, do a little bit of this business. And when it comes to freezing time or giving this to someone time, give them a can of biscuits that has 10 or five of the really, really big ones. And it goes with this, like this, and they're gonna make them in muffin tins. And then you're done with this, mini pot pies. I think we have done it. We did 30 freezer meals in just a couple of hours. Honestly, the hands-on time was extremely minimal. The thing that took the longest was like, waiting for the water to boil, waiting for the meat to cook. But other than that, it came together probably one of the fastest I've ever done it. And you can do all 30 of these freezer meals for right at $150 out of your own pocket as far as a grocery budget goes. So this is definitely 
budget friendly. The eating together is gonna hook my viewers up with a sweet deal. You are gonna get the entire freezer meal packet, the shopping list, the instructions, the step-by-step -step instructions, the recipes to keep, and the little cards that stick on the outside. The whole thing they're gonna give to you for $15. So I've got the first link down in the doobly-doo for you if you wanna go check it out. Off to make a big delivery. I think it's the best way to do this. Just put it in a laundry basket. I think they're gonna be so excited. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks to Eating Together for partnering with me on today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.